looking for the current I and the problem statement says source transformations are the order of business. Um, I think what I'm going to do for my general strategy is um, first convert to a minimum number of current sources and once I have those current sources identified then I should be able to do a straightforward two resistor voltage divider to get at that desired current. So for source transformations let me first begin by converting these devices so that leads to this kind of a form where we have 14 over 4. Let me translate the 4 down here. Uh, let's observe that these are in parallel. 12 in parallel with 4 is 3 ohms. Just to make sure we get the polarity correct on that one, let me go ahead and interchange the positions of these devices. So hopefully now it's a little bit more clear how we do this. I need to orient my sign correct or the direction correctly for the current source. And uh, of course this value is going to be 4 volts divided by 3 ohms or 1.33 amps. Go ahead and replace that. Now again, taking care that we don't somehow remove the device that carries our quantity of interest, the current, uh, we've got 4 in parallel with 3, which combines to 1.71 ohms. Now we want to combine our two current sources together, parallel current sources add. You just need to, when you add that, or add them, you have to make sure that you're doing it properly. Um, just to show that, let me take this source on the right and I'm going to translate that over to the left side. So this is 3.5 amps. We lose that didn't quite come out right. We lose 1.33 amps in that direction. So we've got a total of 2.17 amps right there. So I can write one single source with that value. So we've reached the conclusion of simplifying the circuit as much as possible. Let's go ahead and then find our desired quantity using a current divider. and multiply that by 2.17. Looks like I didn't really need this little piece. It's just called I. And punching out the math on that one, we end up with I is 1 amp.